Hello all. As you can see, I'm out here on my personal firing range. Um, yesterday, I took my little sister out here to shoot. Uh, we shot about 100 rounds of 22, and uh, she really enjoyed herself. But uh, it's Saturday, and it's a beautiful day out in Marion, Arkansas. But uh, I just want to do a quick review on the Springfield Model 87, I'm sorry, Model 84C. Um, this gun was manufactured manufactured in 1937 through 1941. Um, I bought it off arms list from a personal owner for $100. As you see right here, I haven't done anything to it. I bought it two days ago. Um, I've probably put around 300 rounds through it already. Um, when I bought the gun, he gave me 500 rounds of bulk ammo, just plinking ammo. So that was really nice. And, you know, anybody that's interested in guns, the average shooter knows that it's hard to find ammunition right now, so I got a, I got quite a bit of ammo for it, so that was nice. No, I'm not shooting 22 shorts. Um, I reuse these boxes, they're excellent for distributing ammo. If you need to put out five rounds, you just pull a little slide back and dump them out, and you got five rounds, you don't have to worry about spilling a whole bunch of ammo everywhere, so it's quite nice. So I save those, I got about four or five of them. That worked really nice. Um, this will accept shorts, longs, and long rifles. I shot shorts out of it yesterday. I shot about 40 shorts. I had the I had 40 shorts left over, and I, I shot all those. And the thing is quiet as a pellet gun. I mean, you could literally shoot it in your backyard in a residential neighborhood, and nobody would know the difference. They would think maybe you were throwing down those little little things you throw at the ground that pop. It's not even that loud. The thing was quiet. Uh, hope you like my little setup here. Little gun, gun stable right there. We're shooting way out there. I don't know if you can see it, but we're shooting way out there. Um, probably about, that's a good 45 yards, 45 yards out. But I have five shots in here. It has a five shot magazine, detachable magazine in it. Um, I've also looked online. There is an upgrade magazine you can buy. It's a 10 round capacity. And it's like 20 bucks. So I'm definitely going to buy that next next Wednesday when I get paid. That's going to be awesome. So I'm just going to give you a little point of view shooting here. So you can see how this thing works and how smooth it is. But, uh,. If I can line this up right. There we go. Yeah, it would also help if I had the safety off. There's the safety right there. Bad. Barely missed it. It's kind of hard to do this with two hands. Sometimes I wish I had three. But, uh, let's see if we can get a nice POV. That. Awesome. That was a good shot. Yeah, I just want to show you that. You know, it's three rounds. I was messing around. But it, it is in very good condition for being a 70-year-old gun. 
the wood on is beautiful. Uh, honestly, I can't. I can't knock it down. Bit, but I've always taken it from being problems. Um, it's just the way it's built. I do that. It's not stable. It's just water killing. But uh, the thing is solid. Very solid. You know, the barrel it has some scratches and stuff on it. It's been a long time, but it doesn't really upset me at all. I mean, it looks good. It looks really good. For a Springfield, you can't, you can't beat it. You can't beat it. I, I love Springfields. I have a Springfield XD9, and I love the gun. It's just a great shooting pistol. Good for concealed carry, good for open carry, good for any type of carry. Uh, it just goes to show you that Springfield really does make good weapons because uh, I don't like to call them weapons. They make really good guns uh, because this speaker is all original and really working perfectly. 70 years later, 70 plus years later, so buy Springfield. You won't be upset. Very nice gun. Alright, um, Jeff McBurt sign out.